Now we're going to do how to sketch that graph. Now they might ask you in the exam, sketch that graph. So let's see. Now we're going to do sketching and determining the equation. So now the question is going to say, sketch the graph. So they tell you, sketch the graph f of x is equal to, um, let's say, this very graph that we had here. What was it? We had 2 into x minus 2 all squared minus 18. That was the graph. Now they ask you to sketch that graph. Okay, question, answer. This graph is worth about 5 or 6 marks. Okay, the first thing that we do is we take out our turning point. Step number one, we take out our turning point. Why? Because this value is my p value, that value is my q value. This is my x value of my turning point, minus 2, but I change the sign. This q value, minus 18, is my y value of my turning point, but I keep the sign. So, to take out the turning point, minus 2 will become plus 2. Minus 18 will stay negative 18. So step number one, from the equation, directly from the equation. Here you don't need to use minus b over 2a, 4ac minus b squared over 4a. Here you got the equation, directly from the equation, take out your p-value, take out. That's your turning point. Now we remove the brackets. Step number two, remove the brackets. So now you're going to say f of x or y, let's call it y, is equal to 2 into. Remove the brackets, what do I have? x squared. Minus 2 times 2 minus 4x plus 4 minus 18. So y is equal to 2x squared, 2x squared minus 8x plus 8 minus 18. y is equal to 2x squared minus 8x plus 8 minus 10 minus 2. It's actually plus 8 minus 18. Sorry, not minus 8. So here we go. Plus, plus. 8 minus 18, negative 10. So there we go. We've now removed the brackets from there and got it into trinomial form. We've got our turning point. We remove the brackets. We now say let x equal to 0. So let x equal to 0, y is equal to minus 10. And then we're going to say let y equal to 0. So now we're going to have 2x squared minus 8x minus 10 equal to 0. Divide by 2, x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals to 0. That is a trinomial. Factorize that. x, x, 5, 1 minus plus. x is equal to plus 5. Or x plus 1 equals to 0. x is equal to minus 1. There we go. We've got our turning point. We've got our turning point. we got our y-intercept. And we've got our two x-intercepts. We now go and we sketch the graph. So let's go to our graph. That's our graph. x is equal to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, x is equal to 5, or x is equal to negative 1. There's negative 1 on my x. So there's my two values, x values. My, my turning point, 2 and minus 18, 1, 2. So we put a dotted line through 2 and negative 18. So say negative, that's the value, 2 and negative 18. And what is your y-intercept? Negative 10. So say negative 10 is somewhere there. Right, it's a smiling face. It's a smiling face. Why? Because the coefficient here in front of x squared is positive. So all we do, we go here, we draw our graph. Go through the one x-intercept, y-intercept, coming down, turning point, change direction, and continue to infinity. And that is graph F. There's your graph completely sketched. This graph, six to eight marks in the exam. So what did I say? Step number one, take out your turning point. Right? Your p-value, but change the sign. Q-value, keep the sign. Remove the brackets, get it into a trinomial. Once you have it into a trinomial, let x equal to 0, solve for y. Let y equal to 0, you're going to get two x values. Plot it on your graph, sketch the graph, there's it, game over, problem solved.